Hello guys. Oh, tomorrow is the ending of our 21 day fast. Congratulations to everybody who did the fast. Give yourself a pat on the back. <laughs> like, wow, I'm surprised, um, but it was easy for me far as the food wise. I didn't have too many temptations or um, I made sure if we went out to eat, then it was a place that um, sold vegan food as well. And so, um, I didn't put myself in bad situations this morning my boys they just went off of it on yesterday so they almost did the 21 days um, and so uh, this morning they're making bacon and eggs and I smell it but I really still just want oatmeal so I don't have that desire for it smells good it do smell good um, so the question is we finished this 21 days where do we go from here now what God What's now what um, Hopefully you guys are started seeing some results that you wrote down on the um, on the pages. I know I have. Um, I know some of you guys have had obstacles in the way and some things have happened and the devil is throwing all type of stuff for you all to quit and you know and things like that. And I had my share <laughs> as well. Um, you guys know my body went through that detox and um, man, I was feeling terrible. Um, and then not to mention other family things that was going on and just um, you know. But it is what it is. But one thing I will say that I got out of it, um, and then even last night, God gave me another dream and deals with me in dreams and in like how to, like what's my next level or what am I going to be doing next? So it was very neat, the dream that I got. And I just got clarity on some things, some areas that I'll be working in in my ministry. And also um, areas of business. I did get more business venture ideas, more different things like that that he dropped low you know, downloaded in my spirit. Um, things happened for my son that was, um, he, you know, I had some things written down that I wanted financially for him. His school starts, he's in college, you guys. His school starts on Monday and things came in literally yesterday at the last moment that he needed certain monies for this and that. And so, um, whew, you know, sometimes it's like you break a little sweat, but you're like, God, I know if you said you're going to do it, you're going to do it. And sometimes it's at that last moment. But as long as you have faith and don't give up, God's going to go ahead and provide. Ooh, hallelujah. So I am so excited about that. Um, but just things overall, I've learned a lot even as far as my body and um, instead of counting calories and just taking care of my body um, I in fact last night I couldn't sleep and so I was up watching videos and just getting more information on the whole vegan thing you guys I'm not stopping um, I am not going I, I, I feel too good to go back some of you guys if you really did this 21 day um, diet I know you're gonna incorporate more fruits and vegetables and stuff like that but um, there's just no way you know at this point I just cannot I was a neighbor walking by I just cannot stop I can't say okay 21 days is over let me go back to eating this way or eating that I can't because I feel too good I feel amazing um, and I know how God said don't defile the temple and so I was watching more videos on how to to be a vegan accurately and to eat the right way in order to get all the weight off because I did do a lot of fat and I still did a lot of avocados and a lot of oils and stuff like that but now this next level really will allow the weight to just drop off um, I don't I'm sorry I didn't weigh myself um, I don't know how much weight I lost I'm sure I lost something I had lost what five pounds the first four or five pounds I think the first week so I'm sure I lost something I don't know to be honest I don't know about how I feel anyway and how I look and I feel amazing I have tons of energy so I know I can't go back to that um, what I will probably go back to is maybe occasionally if I want some fish or seafood then I will occasionally go back to that but far as um, eating like meat and stuff like that I don't think I ever will I don't know maybe um, but yeah, so I don't want to go back to, to that way of that lifestyle, but I feel so good um, I know God is gonna give download something else in my spirit to give to you guys as of right now I don't know but I never really know I mean to be honest when I did the 21 day fast I just go day by day and allow the Holy Spirit to just drop things and then I give it to you guys Especially even if you're part of my Facebook group um, I put things on every day I put it on there and then I put it on Instagram usually it's the same thing um, and like the other day I put something on and the lady said um, this this actually this word was for me You know, that's what she was saying um, on Instagram And I don't know who I'm talking to when God drops things in my spirit I just write it and I just put it out thing that I did get though you guys I'm gonna read um, 
far as the reading, because I do want to continue on with the reading, we were reading a book called Good Morning Holy Spirit. I feel like that might have been too deep for some people because it did not get a lot of views. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do um, two books. So I'm going to do that book. I'm going to finish that book on Good Morning Holy Spirit for those who are advanced or know what I'm talking about, Fire is the Holy Spirit. And then I'm going to do another book that everybody can relate to as well. So I'll be putting up two readings a week. Um, I'm going to be putting things on a schedule. So I want to do things in decency and in order. Um, that's another thing that I got out of the fast is um, getting a schedule. So I want to put a schedule so you guys know when I'm going to upload this. And then we're also going to have a Bible study or like a little teaching session. So like a coffee and Bible study or tea and Bible study one day a week. And so um, on this channel here. And so I do want, want you guys to know that. So um, if you have any suggestions for books, go ahead and drop them below that you would want me to read. Because um, I'm going to go to the bookstore at some point today. And I, I would love to get some suggestions from you guys. Christian inspirational books okay so things that's going to inspire us help us to become better people um that's that's exactly what i'm looking for um but yeah i feel amazing like i said we're gonna get this channel going and um definitely i want you guys to uh, as we begin to grow please tell other people about say that I, I'm, I'm so happy you guys that did it with me or even you just watch the videos um but yeah we're gonna go some somewhere else with this i'm just waiting on the holy spirit to tell me what's next and we'll figure out what's next but i know for me i'm gonna just continue on and um i know my spiritual life have plummeted like my prayer life my um my thing oh i want to say this if for some reason your prayers did not get answered sometimes it take a little bit longer but sometimes remember the bible says anything you ask if it's in court if it's in accordance to god's will that he will give to you so if you, it could be possibly that god don't want you to have it do you know what i'm saying you could be praying for something like let me give you an example on facebook and this was a little kid little boy must have been about four or five he had this fish and the fish was dead and he wanted to bring the fish home and the daddy says no throw the fish back in the water he says no daddy i want to keep the fish and he was crying and crying and crying he said i want to keep it daddy he says no take the fish put it in the water because it's going to stink daddy please don't make me i don't want to put it back in the water he says honey that fish is dead and the boy cried and he screamed and he screamed, but he made him put that fish back in the water. And sometimes that might happen to you guys where you want something so bad, I don't care, it could be a, a job that you want, God, I want this job, but God can see that that job is not good for you or he has something else better. It could be a man that left you that you want to stay with this man. God, please let him come back to me. God, I don't want him to go. Well, God can see maybe this is not the man for you. Maybe God got something else better just 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 wait so don't always be so quick to say um, or to think that it's the devil it could be God not allowing things to happen so it says if it's in accordance to his word and to his will so God has a purpose for your life his, his plan is to prosper to prosper you and not to harm you to give you hope in the future and so if for some reason that's not happening you have to ask yourself so maybe this is not for me Okay, especially if the person is unequally yoked, if the person's not saved and and you're trying to get back with him and you know whatever and 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 so you know God might have something better for you guys. Okay, so definitely stay encouraged. I hope that you guys got share with me some of your testimonies, how you feel. I would love to know and give me some books and everything like that. If you have not subscribed, go ahead subscribe to the channel, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.